Hey, what's up? T-R-O-Y, the maker, checking in. Welcome back to the project. Today, I'm showing you how to make custom 3D printed cake toppers from start to finish. Okay, I'm gonna give you a roadmap. I'm kicking off things in Corel Draw to design the layout. Then we're moving over to Tinkercad to design the 3D file. And finally, printing it on my Bamboo Lab X1C. Let's jump straight in. So I'm gonna go over here to the font tool. We're gonna select somewhere in our design box. And the font that I'm going to use is called Sweets Delight. And we're gonna type happy. I'm gonna put this return birthday. So let's get our select tool. Let's make it a little bit bigger. Yeah. All right, cool. We're going to select the design, break happy birthday apart. The happy is selected. We're going to go up here to object. We're going to break happy apart. So we're going to take the H, we're going to use the arrow key, and we're going to move it over until it's touching. You want to make sure that all of the letters is touching. That's why you want to use a cursor font. But if, if you don't want to use a cursor font, you just got to make sure all of them is touching. Okay, we're gonna do the same thing to birthday. We're gonna select it, go up here to object, break birthday apart. You see the B, you wanna move it over until it's touching. That looks cool right there, that looks good. You can tell it says happy birthday. Happy, we're gonna select all of the happy and we're going to move it down so it's touching the birthday. You want it to touch at least three points of contact. That's kind of like how I like to have it. You see it's touching right here. It's touching in the middle and on the end. All right, cool. So that looks good. So you wanna select the entire design. You wanna make it the width that you want it to be. Right now we at 6.66666. So let's move it up to about, that's cool right there, 7.26 inches. So let's zoom out. And what we're gonna do is just look at our design, make sure that it looks how you want it to look. It's touching in three different places. So you wanna select everything and just group it together. Now we need our forks, like the little forks so we can stick it inside of the cake. So you're gonna go over here to the uh, square tool and we're just gonna create us a little, you know, fork or whatever you wanna call it. And uh, let's put a hairline around it. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna change this part up here first. See, it's on this little round part. Let's change it to that, like it got four corners. So you wanna change this bottom we want it to have that little fork you know what I mean right here if we select the box or the fork and we already selected this one remember it was on this one and we changed it to this over here this is your four corners right here but we're going to change the bottom left and the bottom right they see like right here this is unlocked and this is locked so you want to make sure that it's unlocked you want to go to the bottom let's change it to 0.5 and then you want to change this to 0.5 as you can see it changes so you get you that little, that little fork, you know what I mean? It gives it that, that touch, you know what I mean? So you wanna take it, let's fill it with black so we can see it better. Okay, let's take our fork and let's put it connected to the R. Mm, let's make it shorter, that's too tall. So let's make it about five. Yeah, 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 it looks a lot better. Let's take our fork and let's put it somewhere with the R. Select it, Shift C, Shift D. That's gonna copy and paste. So you wanna move it over here and let's put it somewhere mid with the A or something like that. All right, cool. That looks cool right there. So you want both of them to be even. So you wanna select it, select both of them. Well, I hold down the shift and I selected the other one. Go up here to alignment and we're just gonna align top. So you wanna select your entire design, right? Go up here to bitmap. We're gonna convert it to a bitmap. You wanna go up here, we're gonna change this to black and white and we're just gonna press okay. So next, what you wanna do is we wanna trace that bitmap. Go to outline, trace, line art. Delete the original, which is the bitmap and just press okay. And as you can see, everything is touching. So let me show you what I mean. So if we select our design, we put a hairline around it and you go to unfill it. Let's go to this smart fill tool right here. Select somewhere in the inside and it's gonna fill it up like magic. And you can uh, change the color, you can do whatever you wanna do. So we're just gonna change it to a pink color because that's the color that we're going to uh, use for the filament. And you wanna make sure that you export it as a SVG file. Select the SVG file and export. When you export as SVG file, you're gonna be able to open it up in Tinkercad. So let's take this design, go over to Tinkercad, and I'm gonna show you what I did. So now we're over in Tinkercad. We're gonna go over here to Create. And we're gonna go to 3D Design, and we're gonna go over here to Import, and we're gonna choose the SVG file that we have right here. Import it. As you can see, this is our file. So Tinkercad, it comes in millimeters, but 
I, I'm still getting used to using millimeters, so I go down here to settings, go over here to unit, and I go to imperial, and I use uh, inches. The width is seven inches, and the height is 7.7 inches. Yeah, we gotta go over here to set and let's change the bit. It's like 7.87, but let's do 10 by 10 right here. Press close. What we gotta do is, we gotta go over here on the side and you wanna click this part right here, one, two, five, which is like one eighth of an inch thick. That's the thickness I'm gonna go with this one. And we're gonna just change the color, this pink I think, yeah. So, all right. So this is our cake topper design right here checking it let's zoom in make sure that it looks good and all that and that's all you really got to do once you get over to tinkercad you just want to make it the thickness and the size and all that and then you want to export it as a dot stl file so the 3d printer can pick it up okay so let's open up bamboo studio create a new project we're going to go over here and we're going to add and we're going to go look for that cake topper file which is right here open it up you got your beautiful cake topper right here this is the filament that i'm going to use for this happy birthday cake topper it's going to take this cake topper 40 minutes to print And that's how you make custom 3D printed cake toppers. Designed in Corel Draw, built in Tinkercad, and brought to life using my Bamboo Lab X1C. If you learned something new or got inspired, hit the like button, subscribe for more projects, and drop a comment if you got an idea on what you want me to try next. Thanks for watching. T R O Y, the maker, signing out. I'll see y'all in the next one. Let's go make something else.